Pareto efficiency or Pareto optimality is a state of allocation of resources from which it is impossible to reallocate so as to make any one individual or preference criterion better off without making at least one individual or preference criterion worse off. The concept is named after Vilfredo Pareto (1848–1923), Italian engineer and economist, who used the concept in his studies of economic efficiency and income distribution. The concept has been applied in academic fields such as economics, engineering, and the life sciences. The Pareto frontier is the set of all Pareto efficient allocations, conventionally shown graphically. It also is variously known as the Pareto front or Pareto set. A Pareto improvement is a change to a different allocation that makes at least one individual or preference criterion better off without making any other individual or preference criterion worse off, given a certain initial allocation of goods among a set of individuals. An allocation is defined as Pareto efficient or Pareto optimal when no further Pareto improvements can be made, in which case we are assumed to have reached Pareto optimality. Pareto efficiency is considered as a minimal notion of efficiency that does not necessarily result in a socially desirable distribution of resources, it makes no statement about equality, or the overall well-being of a society. It is simply a statement of impossibility of improving one variable without harming other variables in the subject of multi-objective optimization also termed Pareto optimization. The notion of Pareto efficiency has been applied to the selection of alternatives in engineering and similar fields. Each option is first assessed, under multiple criteria, and then a subset of options is ostensibly identified with the property that no other option can categorically outperform any of its members. Topic. Overview Pareto optimality is a formally defined concept used to determine when an allocation is optimal. An allocation is not Pareto optimal if there is an alternative allocation where improvements can be made to at least one participant's well-being without reducing any other participant's well-being. If there is a transfer that satisfies this condition, the reallocation is called a Pareto improvement. When no further Pareto improvements are possible, the allocation is a Pareto optimum. The formal presentation of the concept in an economy is as follows, consider an economy with I agents and J goods. Then an allocation X 1 X I X underscore 1 X underscore I where X N element of R J display style X underscore N in math B B R carrot J is Pareto optimal if there is no other feasible allocation X one X I display style X underscore one X underscore I such that for utility function U I display style U underscore I for each agent I display style I U N X N U N X N display style U underscore N X underscore N G E Q U underscore N X underscore N for all N element of 1 i display style n in 1 i with u n x n greater than u n x n display style u underscore n x underscore n greater than u underscore n x underscore n for some n display style n here in this simple economy feasibility refers to an allocation where the total amount of each good that is allocated sums to no more than the total amount of the good in the economy 
In a more complex economy with production, an allocation would consist both of consumption vectors and production vectors, and feasibility would require that the total amount of each consumed good is no greater than the initial endowment plus the amount produced. In principle, a change from a generally inefficient economic allocation to an efficient one is not necessarily considered to be a Pareto improvement. Even when there are overall gains in the economy, if a single agent is disadvantaged by the reallocation, the allocation is not Pareto optimal. For instance, if a change in economic policy eliminates a monopoly and that market subsequently becomes competitive, the gain to others may be large. However, since the monopolist is disadvantaged, this is not a Pareto improvement. In theory, if the gains to the economy are larger than the loss to the monopolist, the monopolist could be compensated for its loss while still leaving a net gain for others in the economy, allowing for a Pareto improvement. Thus, in practice, to ensure that nobody is disadvantaged by a change aimed at achieving Pareto efficiency, compensation of one or more parties may be required. It is acknowledged, in the real world, that such compensations may have unintended consequences leading to incentive distortions over time, as agents supposedly anticipate such compensations and change their actions accordingly. Under the idealized conditions of the first welfare theorem, a system of free markets, also called a competitive equilibrium, leads to a Pareto efficient outcome. It was first demonstrated mathematically by economists Kenneth Arrow and Gerard de Bru. However, the result only holds under the restrictive assumptions necessary for the proof. Markets exist for all possible goods, so there are no externalities. All markets are in full equilibrium. Markets are perfectly competitive. Transaction costs are negligible, and market participants have perfect information. In the absence of perfect information or complete markets, outcomes will generally be Pareto inefficient per the Greenwald-Stiglitz theorem. The second welfare theorem is essentially the reverse of the first welfare theorem. It states that under similar, ideal assumptions, any Pareto optimum can be obtained by some competitive equilibrium, or free market system, although it may also require a lump sum transfer of wealth. Topic. Weak Pareto efficiency A. Weak Pareto optimum WPO is an allocation for which there are no possible alternative allocations whose realization would cause every individual to gain. Thus, an alternative allocation is considered to be a Pareto improvement if and only if the alternative allocation is strictly preferred by all individuals. When contrasted with weak Pareto efficiency, a standard Pareto optimum as described above may be referred to as a strong Pareto optimum SPO. Weak Pareto optimality is weaker than strong Pareto optimality in the sense that any SPO also qualifies as a WPO, but a WPO allocation is not necessarily an SPO. A market doesn't require local non-satiation to get to a weak Pareto optimum. Topic. Constrained Pareto efficiency The condition of constrained Pareto optimality is a weaker version of the standard condition of Pareto optimality employed in economics, which ostensibly accounts for the fact that a potential planner e the government, may not be able to improve upon a decentralized market outcome, even if that outcome is inefficient. This will occur if it is limited by the same informational or institutional constraints as our individual agents. The most commonly proffered example is of a setting where individuals have private information, for example, a labor market where the worker's own productivity is known to the worker but not to a potential employer, or a used car market where the quality of a car is known to the seller but not to the buyer, which results in moral hazard or an adverse selection and a suboptimal outcome. In such a case, a planner who wishes to improve the situation is deemed unlikely to have access to any information that the participants in the markets do not have. Hence, the planner cannot implement allocation rules which are based on the idiosyncratic characteristics of individuals, for example, if a person is of type A, they pay price P1, but if of type B, they pay price P2. See Lindahl prices. Essentially, only anonymous rules are allowed of the sort everyone pays price P, or rules based on observable behavior. If any person chooses X at price PX, then they get a subsidy of $10, and nothing otherwise. If there exists no allowed rule that can successfully improve upon the market outcome, then that outcome is said to be constrained Pareto optimal. 
Note that the concept of constrained Pareto optimality assumes benevolence on the part of the planner and hence it is distinct from the concept of government failure, which occurs when the policy-making politicians fail to achieve an optimal outcome simply because they are not necessarily acting in the public's best interest. Use in engineering and economics The notion of Pareto efficiency has been used in engineering. Given a set of choices and a way of valuing them, the Pareto frontier or Pareto set or Pareto front is the set of choices that are Pareto efficient. By restricting attention to the set of choices that are Pareto efficient, a designer can make trade-offs within this set, rather than considering the full range of every parameter. Topic. Formal representation Topic. Pareto frontier For a given system, the Pareto frontier or Pareto set is the set of parametrizations allocations that are all Pareto efficient. Finding Pareto frontiers is particularly useful in engineering. By yielding all of the potentially optimal solutions, a designer can make focused trade-offs within this constrained set of parameters, rather than needing to consider the full ranges of parameters. The Pareto frontier, P y, may be more formally described as follows. Consider a system with function f r n r m Display style f math b b r caret n right arrow math b b r caret m, where x is a compact set of feasible decisions in the metric space r n display style math b b r caret n, and y is the feasible set of criterion vectors in r m display style math b b r caret m, such that y equals y element of r m y equals f x x element of x display style y equals y in math bb r caret m y equals f x x in x we assume that the preferred directions of criteria values are known a point y element of r m display style y caret prime prime in math bb r caret m is preferred to strictly dominates another point y element of r m display style y caret prime in math bb r caret m written as y y Display style y caret prime prime s u c c y caret prime. The Pareto frontier is thus written as p y equals y element of y y element of y y y y does not equal y equals Display style p y equals y caret prime in y y caret prime prime in y y caret prime prime s u c c y caret prime y caret prime prime n e q y caret prime equals empty set. Topic: Relationship to the marginal rate of substitution. A significant aspect about the Pareto frontier in economics is that, at a Pareto efficient allocation, the marginal rate of substitution is the same for all consumers. A formal statement can be derived by considering a system with m consumers and n goods, and a utility function of each consumer as z i equals f i x i. Display style z underscore i equals f caret i x caret i, where x i equals x one i x two i x n i. 
Display style x caret i equals x underscore one caret i x underscore two caret i l dots x underscore n caret i is the vector of goods, both for all i. The feasibility constraint is i equals one m x j i equals b j Display style sum underscore i equals one caret m x underscore j caret i equals b underscore j for j equals one n display style j equals one l dots n to find the Pareto optimal allocation we maximize the Lagrangian l i x j k K J Lambda K K mu J J equals F I X I plus K equals two M Lambda K Z K Minus F K X K plus J equals one N mu J B J minus K equals one M X J K Display style L underscore I x underscore J carrot K underscore K J Lambda underscore K underscore K mu underscore J underscore J equals F carrot I x carrot I plus sum underscore K equals two carrot M Lambda underscore K Z underscore K F carrot K x carrot K plus sum underscore J equals one carrot N mu underscore J left B underscore J sum underscore K equals one carrot m x underscore j carrot k right where lambda k k display style lambda underscore k underscore k and mu j j display style mu underscore j underscore j are the vectors of multipliers taking the partial derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to each good x j k display style x underscore j caret k for j equals 1 n display style j equals 1 l dots n and k equals 1 m display style k equals 1 l dots m and gives the following system of first order conditions l i x j i equals f x j i 1 minus mu j equals 0 4 j equals 1 n display style frac partial l underscore i partial x underscore j caret i equals f underscore x underscore j caret i caret 1 mu underscore j equals 0 text for j equals 1 l dots n l i x j k equals minus lambda K F X J K I minus mu J equals zero four K equals two M and J equals one N 
Display style FRAC partial L underscore I partial X underscore J carrot K equals Lambda underscore K F underscore X underscore J carrot K carrot I mu underscore J equals zero text for K equals two L dots M text and J equals one L dots N where F X J I Display style f underscore x underscore j caret i denotes the partial derivative of f. Display style f with respect to x j i. Display style x underscore j caret i. Now fix any k does not equal i. Display style k n e q i and J S element of one N display style J S in one L dots N. The above first order condition imply that F X J I I F X S I I equals mu J mu s equals f x j k k f x s k k Display style FRAC F underscore X underscore J carrot I carrot I F underscore X underscore S carrot I carrot I equals FRAC mu underscore J mu underscore S equals FRAC F underscore X underscore J carrot K carrot K F underscore X underscore S carrot K carrot K Thus, in a Pareto optimal allocation, the marginal rate of substitution must be the same for all consumers. Topic. Computation Algorithms for computing the Pareto frontier of a finite set of alternatives have been studied in computer science and power engineering. They include the maximum vector problem, or the skyline query, the scalarization algorithm, or the method of weighted sums. Topic. Use in biology Pareto optimization has also been studied in biological processes. In bacteria, genes were shown to be either inexpensive to make resource efficient or easier to read translation efficient. Natural selection acts to push highly expressed genes towards the Pareto frontier for resource use and translational efficiency. Genes near the Pareto frontier were also shown to evolve more slowly, indicating that they are providing a selective advantage. Topic Criticisms It would be incorrect to treat Pareto efficiency as equivalent to societal optimization, as the latter is a normative concept that is a matter of interpretation that typically would account for the consequence of degrees of inequality of distribution. An example would be a school district with low property tax revenue versus one with much higher revenue. Generally, more equal distribution occurs with the help of government redistribution. Pareto efficiency does not require a totally equitable distribution of wealth. An economy in which a wealthy few hold the vast majority of resources can be Pareto efficient. This possibility is inherent in the definition of Pareto efficiency. Often the status quo is Pareto efficient regardless of the degree to which wealth is equitably distributed. A simple example is the distribution of a pie among three people. The most equitable distribution would assign one-third to each person. However the assignment of, say, a half-section to each of two individuals and none to the third is also Pareto optimal despite not being equitable, because none of the recipients could be made better off without decreasing someone else's share, and there are many other such distribution examples. An example of a Pareto inefficient distribution of the pie would be allocation of a quarter of the pie to each of the three, with the remainder discarded. The origin and utility value of the pie is conceived as immaterial in these examples. In such cases, whereby a windfall 
is gained that none of the potential distributees actually produced e.g., land, inherited wealth, a portion of the broadcast spectrum, or some other resource, the criterion of Pareto efficiency does not determine a unique optimal allocation. Wealth consolidation may exclude others from wealth accumulation because of bars to market entry, etc. The liberal paradox elaborated by Amartya Sen shows that when people have preferences about what other people do, the goal of Pareto efficiency can come into conflict with the goal of individual liberty. See also References Further reading Feudenberg, Drew, Tyrrell, Jean 1991. Game Theory. Cambridge, Massachusetts: MIT Press. pp. 18–23. ISBN 9780262061404. Feudenberg, Drew, Tyrrell, Jean 1991. Communitarian versus Universalistic Norms. Quarterly Journal of Political Science. Now Publishing Inc. 3 1, 33-61. doi.10.1561.100.000070-0. Canber, Ravi January to June 2005. Pareto's Revenge. PDF. Journal of Social and Economic Development. Institute for Social and Economic Change, Bangalore, 7 1, 1 to 11. Ng, Yu Kuang, 2004. Welfare Economics Towards a More Complete Analysis. Basingstoke, Hampshire, New York, Palgrave Macmillan. ISBN 9780333971000. Ng, Yu Kuang, 1994. Introduction. In Rubinstein, Ariel, Osborne, Martin J., A Course in Game Theory, Cambridge, Massachusetts, MIT Press, pp. 6-7, ISBN 9780262650000. Ng, Yu Kuang, 1991. How Well Do We Know Pareto Optimality? The Journal of Economic Education. Taylor & Francis via JSTOR. 22 172-178. 172 doi, 10.2307, Newbery, David M. G., Stiglitz, Joseph E. January 1984. Pareto Inferior Trade. Review of Economic Studies. Oxford Journals. 51 1, 1-12. Doi 10.2307/2297701